what is going on at Texas A&M? What in the world is happening with Jimbo Fisher's program? You lose to App State last week, 17-14. to And the offense looks dreadful. And the defense isn't able to get stops. App State ran over 80 plays. They held the football for over 40 minutes in the game. Couldn't get the stops that they needed when they needed them. It, it, they didn't give up a ton of points. But it was very clear that App State knew exactly what they needed to do to win. And Texas A&M could not get out of their own way. And now you have players that are just acting ridiculous, right? Um, let's, let's talk about this. Denver Harris, uh, the five-star cornerback. Um, I'm going to go on and pull up what he was doing. And I'm, I'll go ahead and actually mute this. Uh, but my gosh, uh, he's... <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. Uh, he's driving around in a parking garage at super high rates of speed, not slowing down, just driving insanely recklessly. And and this is after the game, right? And this is, you know, I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know why I, players are acting like that. You've, you've got players that are on the Texas A&M team that are liking tweets about... Um, about how the scheme, like they've got the players at Texas A&M, but the scheme is wrong. That's This is not good. You got one loss already on the season, two games in, and as you, I'm sure you've heard other people talk, the schedule is brutal. You've got Miami, you got Arkansas, uh, you got whoever else, and then Alabama, after oh, Mississippi State, and then Alabama, and then you got South Carolina. It doesn't get easier. Like App State's a good team, but they are nothing compared to what some of these teams are that you're about to play. And if you don't find a quarterback, you got some major issues. So Jimbo Fisher, of course, is asked about this. And Dave Wilson over at ESPN, uh, the headline says, relinquishing play calling duty, something Texas A&M Aggies coach Jimbo Fisher could evaluate if struggles continue. If they continue? Like, uh, what, what are we talking about here? It says, uh... uh after a woeful offensive performance and a 17-14 to loss to App State, one of the biggest upsets in Texas A&M history, Aggies coach Jimbo Fisher was asked on Monday if he would consider relinquishing play-calling duties. And his response was, in time, I would. Possibly could. You always evaluate those things. I, this is, so he was asked if his ego would prevent him from letting go. He said, no. I'm always about whatever it takes to win. Winning takes all effect over everything. I promise you that. What what are what world is Jimbo Fisher living in? Like Josh Pate on Lake Kick had an incredible analogy. Basically holding up uh, an old milk carton or milk jug and said, "If this expired in 2014, you would throw it away." And Texas A&M's offense expired in 2014 and yet Jimbo is still out there running it. He's still out there making you drink that milk that expired in 2014. And the player, and he talked all offseason about how they're making changes, etc. Bud Elliott has talked ad nauseum about the fact that they do not have explosive plays, that their offense does not lend itself for explosive plays. And Alabama, by the way, is running into some of the same stuff because Bill O'Brien's offense is too complicated. They are making it harder than it has to be. And that's exactly what they're doing at Texas A&M. They make it harder than it has to be. It, it is absolutely absurd that they can't find simple plays to get good players in open space. This is not a difficult thing to do. You saw App State do it against North Carolina. You saw North Carolina do it against App State. It's not like App State's defense is world beaters because North Carolina was able to go up and down the field on them. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go the Phil Longo route, but there is a healthy balance between having an explosive offense and having an offense that can't move, where you get in your own way. And that's what's going on here. Uh, on top of that, I mean, my gosh, all the other stuff that's going on, um, this uh, that Barstool Sports found out about, of course, uh, they posted the yell leader stuff that was going out, and they called App State a bunch of hillbillies, and half the guys on the team don't even know how to read the name on the front of the jersey and blah, 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 right? It's just a lot of trash talk, which Texas A&M has been doing forever. But the video got circulated, 
And I think Texas A&M actually made this worse. Because you see, the media has been disabled in response to a report by the copyright owner. That is a DMCA uh, request. Like, basically, DMCA, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Anything that's online that you don't want online and you own the copyright for, which they do. It, I don't know why Texas A&M broadcasts the Yell Leader stuff, but they do. Uh, because it was put out there, now they're doing this, and they are getting blasted online for it. I mean, it is just brutal what they're going through. It's like the whole program is imploding at Texas A&M. Uh, there are ways that this can be fixed. It can be salvaged. They have got fantastic players. And I do still believe in Jimbo Fisher. But at some point, you have got to understand that football has modernized. And if you don't know how to run it, you better go hire somebody that understands how to do it. It doesn't matter about ego. You have seen programs adapt. Georgia Southern just went in and beat Nebraska by putting up over 600 yards of offense. That's a team that was a triple option team not that long ago. In two games, under Clay Helton, they figured it out. Like, go go watch games. Go watch other teams. Figure out a way to do this. It's not hard. Oh, it's so frustrating. So frustrating. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.